What's going on guys? It's Mark here. First day of brewing and we are going to do this Chinook IPA. I have the recipe right here. It is an extra kit. It came with my kit. So let's give it a try. See how it turns out. Right now I have two and a half gallons of water inside of my five gallon Imusa. Uh, let me turn on the heat and we'll get this going. All right guys, so I just realized that I misplaced my mesh bag. So we are going to get creative. Let's see how this works. Alright guys, so it says to heat it to 170 degrees or 20 minutes, whichever comes first. It's looking like it's going to be 20 minutes. Now if you guys haven't had the chance to brew beer yet and you have your grain packet, just take it and give it a good, give it a good sniff. This is probably the best smelling thing that I have ever smelled. better way to spend a brew day than with a Cigar City Invasion. Cheers. Alright guys, as you can see, well, let me get you closer so you can see. As you can see, we are at a boil. I went ahead and turned the heat off. I'm going to go ahead and add the malt extract. And to those of you with an extract kit, this is a tip I got from Northern Brewer. You simply put the syrup under hot water. Let it run right before you are ready to go, and the syrup should pour out significantly easier. We'll find out. And now that the syrup has been added in, it is time to add the dry malt extract. Alright guys, now all the extracts have been added in, it's time to bring it back to a boil and we will start the hops additions. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh, yeah. You know 
what time is it? 1.36. Alright guys, we have started the 60 minute boil, which means that it is now time for the most fun part of the brewing process. Sanitation. Guys, it has been 50 minutes. It is time for half of a bag of the Chinook Cops. So. And I will see you guys in another 10 minutes. I have cooled the wort to approximately 100 degrees like the recipe says. It now says that I need to fill my bucket with two gallons of cold water. So let me go ahead and do that now. Everything that touches your wart from this point on has to be sanitized. So, let's get this wart into the bucket. So what are you siphoning that off into? That. This? Yeah. Okay, what you can do is put the sock around the end of the siphon and siphon it out and let the sock catch the stuff as it's going through. Oh, shit. What's that? Water. Is it supposed to go into the water? Yeah. The beer? Yeah. You sure? Yes. and now it is time to aerate the wart. So, take it and just rock it back and forth. All right guys, now it's time to add the yeast. Simply take it and pour away. Now add your topper. And your airlock, which has been filled with sanitizer. Give it a quick rock. And we'll let you know how it goes in about four weeks. Alright guys, it has been two weeks since we started brewing. It's time for the last top edition, one ounce of Chinook Cups. And as you can see inside the bucket, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and throw these hops in. And you don't have to worry, from what I understand, about sanitizing the hops as they are antiseptic. So, there's that. And we're going to...
we're going to put this topper back on and we will see you guys in another two weeks.